Hi guys. Yeah, Shaggy here. I'm preparing to leave. Just realized I didn't do an intro for a particular video. So I signed up for a free walking tour. It's more or less the people volunteering to show you their town and then at the end of it all you give them a tip depending on how you liked it or how generous you are. So we visited several places. You will see the video is actually interesting. Most of the places are not visited by tourists, like you wasn't know, so unless you do this, which is a good thing. And before I preempt much, <laughs> please yeah, make sure you watch the video to the end. Enjoy, subscribe if you have not. And then I will see you in my next video. But enjoy this one. Thank you. So it's very important and very famous. So, but I have a question for you, which is the most the biggest cathedral on the planet that is not this one, but it's a Vatican. Vatican City, St. Peter's Cathedral. moment for this building on the left so this building on the left is very famous because uh, it was built during uh, it was built during the 1200s by this man on the horse Egidio Odo was an important Greek family living here but Mr. Egidio Odo was a very uh, particular because he doesn't like the drink of the land Jan Church of Santa Maria Scala. You know that creepy stories happen in this place. So ghosts are around this square because creepy stories happen. The ghost could be behind you, sir, or you can, or can be behind you inside your upper space, or could be behind you, or behind you. We don't know, but of course we know that this man behind me is uh, Alessandro Manzoni. Alessandro Manzoni is the second most important writer in Italy. It really, it lives in Milan. He lives in Milan during the 1800s, but he's very famous not only for his uh, books, but he's also famous uh, because it was agreed with the unification of the Italian language. So he believes that with the unification of one single language, the country could be the right way for the unification of, of our country. Then the Pina, was the economy minister here and used to live in the building behind. There was another building before, not, not exactly this one. Mosimori was a rich family and decided to build for her wife a beautiful building like that. And today is the place where the mayor works. The mayor works exactly in that room where there's the balcony. So the city of the city hall of Milan is exactly here. But the entrance of the entrance is not from here. But the other square, the answer will come. So, we'll be a military, um, military officer for the free independence war. Now, we have started with the secrets of Milan. 
So now this area is without tourists. Do you see some tourists? No. Just you, only you, <laughs> exactly. So we are in front of the ruin of the Imperial Palace of Milan. Milan was an important capital during the Roman Empire from the third century, but before was Rome the capital. But how was made this imperial palace? Let's see this map that is perfect for the explanation. So the ruins are exactly this one, and the imperial palace was built in this way and was located in this position in the city. This is the map of Milan during the third century after Christ. And Milan was also famous for this man, the Emperor Massimiano, who decided to move the capital from Rome to Milan, considering Milan a more centric position uh, to manage all the territories uh, of the Roman Empire. We are in front of the church of Santa Maria alla Porta. This church was built in the 1200 and then restyled in the 1500s in Barocco style to for the anti-protestant reformation. But in 1943, unfortunately, this chapel was destroyed by a bomb on the 15th August 1943. So, and uh, during that moment, the, the chapel was destroyed by a bomb. Everything was destroyed except the Holy Mary. So the mural is exactly like you see today. No damage for this part of the mural. People think about the second miracle, and that's why after the war, they don't decide, they decide to not rebuild again a new chapel to remember this second miracle. Milan is the economic capital, um, and uh, the stock exchange was built in 1928 by a famous uh, architect. The name was Paolo Mezzanotte. When you look also closer at this building, you can understand that, this, that uh, they are very similar to the temples of the Roman Empire, because Mussolini wants to create a powerful empire like the Romans. This is the big illusion of Mussolini during that time, forcing them, uh, brainwashing all, uh, all the Italians. It's just a contemporary art made by the famous artist Maurizio Cattelan. Maurizio Cattelan always uh, liked to create provocative style sculptures uh, like uh, this finger. But let's do an explanation about this finger. If you look closer at the other fingers, they are not bound, but they are cut. So we can imagine that is the typical fascist salute in front of a fascist architecture. But there is another message. What happened in all over the world in 2008? So about the banks, uh, about the economy, there is the economic crisis. Now we are ready to discover the story of the serial killer of the land. A small person that should be the killer. This, feel this. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys don't kill it. <laughs> oh, we have a second one. <laughs> so the second kill. Oh, oh my god. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the final stop of the tour. So now that's the moment for uh, the smallest street of Milan. So we start with the most crowded and most important square of the city, the Duomo Square, the biggest one. But now is the moment for the last... Uh, attention please, there's one bike. So for the, this, the, this street uh, where I used to live a long time ago, the serial killer Antonio Boggia. Antonio Boggia is this man on the picture. Apparently, very quiet, very generous. Now this man is a killer. Will kill six people in 30 years. And of course, his main goal is to take the inheritance of these people. Normally, his main goal is to kill um, people without any husband or without any wife, no sons. And also when he kills, he always uh, sleep in the same bedroom with the dead body just to say sorry. But I have to do that 
for your inheritance. Yeah. That's, that's, and that's they bad. also signed false documents for this. But after that, he used to heat the bodies in the buildings of your right. So this building was used to heat the bodies. Where Mr. Upper Street is He's there leaning. as in front of the door. <laughs> so the bodies stay there. <laughs> and the ghost could be behind you this time. A lot of, now we can talk about the other types of ghosts. Uh, but uh, in 1962, Mr. Antonio Boggia makes uh, a terrible mistake. This time, mm -hmm. he won a woman, but this time doesn't know that this woman has a son living around Lake Como. Of course, this person starts to say, why my mom decided to leave the inheritance to this unknown man? There's something strange. I will start the investigation. That again? <laughs> Thank you very much.